well brent it does have fur and it does have spots and it is indeed shadow so those guinea fowl alarm calling was her she managed to walk past those guinea fowl and one of the vehicles picked her up just in front of us so our senses when it came to the guinea fowl was very spot on and isn't it amazing to find her now i'm hoping i haven't been able to see her very nicely because she was lying on that branch but i want to see her very carefully when she comes past to see if she does have suckle marks and wouldn't it be incredible if she took us to the den site this afternoon that would be absolutely amazing so we're going to just try to see when she comes past she's busy sniffing around there i don't know maybe there's another leopard that's walked here at some point that she's smelling so you can see she's had her head down sniffing and i can't see her barely very nicely at all so tough to see but we'll just keep looking and just hopefully she'll walk into a clearing that I can actually see her but I'm really excited to catch up with her I was hoping that we would find her and when I heard those guinea fowl alarm calling I was convinced that it could be one of these cats like I said even Tingana also moves around in this area but I was really hoping it would be her I'm just gonna try and quickly just position ourselves a little bit forward because she seems like she's picked up a scent of something there and is sniffing quite a lot so let's just try and get in here so welcome back guys sorry we had a slight picture break up there but it does happen we're in an area that's a little bit difficult so hopefully wherever she goes if her den site is around and she does have cubs that we can be able to keep going with her but it looks like she's actually now eating grass so this is quite a common thing for um, for cats to do they often eat the grass just to help with the digestive tract so as they eat it helps them to clean everything out and let's have a look at that belly now oh, I don't know yeah it looks like it difficult to see but it does look like there's a bit of matting of fur there so it does look like she does have suckle marks which is great news so it means that in all likelihood she could be going back to her den it's that time of the day that she might head there especially if she's been out hunting the whole day then she could potentially start looking to go back to the cubs to feed them um, obviously it could be the opposite way around she could be going out to hunt and has been with the cubs the whole day but where her tracks came from her tracks came from the south and were coming up this way and now she's turned off and gone straight west into this area and this is where we thought she had her den is along these drainage systems that are on our west and northern side so the first time we ever saw her kind of going and looking like she was about to give birth this is where she headed so we are in the right area the only problem is it's getting very dark now so the problem with this is that the cubs the problem with cubs is that obviously at the age that they will be which would be now I think those cubs would probably be about four four and a half weeks old um, so oh, we just gone into a little warthog hole so we have to just get out of that quickly we good there Dave so with this long grass sometimes quite difficult to see these holes that are in the grass here so every now and then you just get a tire going down which does happen but it's okay but yeah I believe a lot of you are very excited to see shadow so the first of Karula's offspring and she's had such bad luck with cubs that I'm really hoping that this time she gets it right and she's able to successfully produce and raise her cubs to adulthood and isn't she beautiful it's amazing it's such a nice picture that she's posing so nicely on that fallen over tree and the reason she's doing that is to try to get a little bit of height to be able to see what's going on so walking through this long grass you can see she can't see much over that grass so these fallen over trees are the perfect things to be able to go up onto and then look around and see okay is there anything that is around is there any predators any prey items that I could potentially hunt so a really good place to go now there is another big fallen over tree coming up and I think she's gonna head to that so I'm gonna try and just loop around there quickly and see if we can maybe just get in front of her so 
So let's see. There's a big fallen over Marilla, and there we go. She's gone straight up it. And there we go. So she's just using that to look around, and she seems like she's spotted something. And judging by that tummy, you can see it's she's looking a little bit thin. So she definitely does need a meal at some point and if she does have cubs with the milk that she'll be producing it will cause her to utilize so much more of the nutrients she's getting and so she'll be having to feed a lot more often um, I still can't see a hundred percent if she's got milk and suckle marks it's kind of the angle that we're at is just not working for us but I'm hoping she's gonna go up another fallen over tree like this and then I'll be able to try and position in a way that I can actually see what's going on there But you can see lots of scent marking that she's doing as well, which is fairly typical. And she's been quite elusive of late. She hasn't really been seen very much, which is typical of her when she goes into this stage of her life when she starts breeding. She often does this uh, as she has cubs. She becomes a lot harder to find as she first has them. And then once the cubs are actually fairly mobile, then she actually becomes quite easy. She's uh, then doesn't live up to her name at all. She becomes a lot easier to find. She seems to relax with cubs rather than the other way around, which is quite strange. Now it looks like she's going to go back to that tree. 